As part of the overall environmental initiative of the World Economic Forum, there's one dedicated specifically to water. What's the objective of the Forum's water initiative? Well, that's right. Um, we do have a water initiative that has been running since 2003, and the first phase of that is actually closing out this year. The first phase of that water work has been very much focused on the challenge of providing water for social needs, for people who need water for drinking and for cleaning, um, as well as water for industrial needs, for the economy, because people need jobs and many uh, industrial enterprises need a lot of water. This is particularly appropriate um, in a couple of parts of the world where economic growth is urgently needed, and in fact where water is very scarce. So we've chosen partnerships in India, particularly in Rajasthan, and in South Africa, particularly in Limpopo province in South Africa. And those are two regions of the world where this combination of the need for jobs and the need for water for people is quite urgent. Can you tell me a bit more about the forum's engagement specifically in India and in uh, South Africa? Sure. Um, again, in this phase of the water work, we've been focusing on the balance between water for business and water for people. What we've done is try to um, structure partnerships between the key protagonists um, in, in the piece, so whether these are governments at national, provincial, state or city level, whether these are businesses, um, particularly those uh, companies who are working in these water scarce areas, often in the extractive industry community or other um, water heavy users, for example, um, power um, generation, that kind of thing. Um, and with civil society organizations, uh, NGOs or other um, representative groups. So trying to bring these types of stakeholders together um, to start discussing their water needs in the first instance um, and the sort of water need that would make most sense, a kind of a win-win. How can we get water to people and use that same water for business? Um, and providing a neutral platform is what the forum does quite well to stimulate those discussions. And from those discussions, particular project concepts can emerge and if we um, have also around the table um, people who have access to money and finance and development specialities, um, then those project concepts can start to take legs of their own. And that's what we've been achieving um, through working with our partners in India and in South Africa. Can you give some examples of the achievements that the initiative has had so far and what are the next steps? Sure. Um, so let's take the South Africa example, if I may. Um, in South Africa, we've been very lucky to create a partnership at a national level um, with elements of the South African government, Department of Water Affairs and Forestry, um, National Treasury, um, and also with a business partnership called the NEPAD Business Foundation, which is a business uh, reaction to um, the new Economic Partnership for Africa Development, which is an Africa-wide um, political process. Um, now, this partnership between government and business at the national level uh, has brought in, as I mentioned, uh, representatives from the mining industry, um, civil society representatives, and to focus on how to unlock some of the development challenges in uh, Limpopo province, for example, which is quite water scarce. So if we take some of those development challenges, you can imagine that building a mine um, is quite a, a, a big investment, and mines require a lot of water, roughly a ton of water for a ton of rock, if you're a mine. Um, mines also attract a lot of people to come and work in the mine, and any townships that uh, are nearby a mine will grow significantly. Those townships will require water and sanitation services. Now, if there's not quite enough water for both of those issues, a town and a mine, then um, without uh, well-structured projects um, based on good dialogue and stakeholder networks, you'll have conflict. And we've seen that in other parts of the world, the conflict between a mining um, entity and a community. In this, in this instance, trying to devise a way, for example, um, the water that the community uses can be recycled and passed on for the mine to use, or vice versa, can actually create cohesion where before there was conflict. And that's the sort of project that um, we're helping to develop with our partners in South Africa. What are the next steps of this water initiative then? Um, well, that's an interesting um, point because uh, in this first phase of our water work, we've focused on these um, business, industry, social partnerships. Um, we've got to the stage with our partners in India and in South Africa, whereby there are a number of robust, bankable project concepts. Now, we as a forum are more of a catalyst and we offer a neutral platform for discussion. We're not necessarily um, the right organization to drive 
um, these projects through to delivery. So what we'll be doing, I think, is um, inviting interested parties to get in touch um, and to use our discussion platforms and our events to advertise um, and to share with our, the stakeholders who have been working with us um, the opportunity that these project concepts present. And I think we would look for um, the delivery of these concepts through to implementation. We can play a role throughout that process, I'm sure, to maintain the stakeholder dialogue throughout. Um, but by doing so, I think we'd start to see um, the impact that this can have on, on the models that the wider development and government and civil society community use um, in their efforts to try to manage water both for business and for social needs.